Lauren Regal, please. Aloha Council. My name is Lauren Rigo and I support the bill as amended. In my interpretation, this was never intended to be an anti-farming bill, as I've heard it thrown around today. I can tell you with certainty, the supporters of this bill are not against farming and are some of the most active consumers of locally grown products. Concerned with the idea that 90% of our food is imported, I recently organized an Eat Local Challenge with hundreds of participants to eat nothing but Hawaii-grown food for a week. It was eye-opening to see how difficult that really is and a way to draw attention to our food security issues while casting light on local farms and local products that our fertile island has to offer. I frequent farmer's markets. I choose local in the grocery store. I support restaurants that serve locally grown products. I don't want to hurt farmers. I love farmers. That being said, what Monsanto is doing is not farming. I have read their PR campaigns with their we're just family farmers like everyone else spin. The truth is this, they are the world's largest manufacturer of weed killing chemicals. And the corn that they grow here, this is not feeding the world. This is not feeding anyone. It never ends up as an ear of corn on someone's plate. The fields of corn that they grow here are a big open air laboratory for their experiments. They are developing new strains of seeds that are able to withstand more and more of the chemicals that they sell. And in doing so, they are using more of those chemicals than they use anywhere else. While a Midwest corn farmer may spray eight to 10 times a year, these chemical seed operations spray 200 plus days a year. One of my concerns with the amount of pesticides being used by these companies comes back to our local food security. There is a renaissance happening in Hawaii a return to the culture that once included a very sophisticated model of sustainable farming. It seems pretty obvious that the continuous spraying of the same land over and over again with more and more death and cancer causing chemicals is not a viable long-term plan for the limited farmland of Maui County. I understand that this bill was modeled after Bill 2491 on Kauai, which affected the business practices of five companies. Four of those were huge chemical corporations, and the fifth was Kauai Coffee, the largest coffee farm in the United States. I have not obtained a list of how many companies this bill will affect, but I'm assuming that those using five pounds or 15 gallons of restricted use pesticides a year are not small scale farms. I believe that the public has a right to know when and where these restricted chemicals are being sprayed and in what combination. I also believe it is common sense that mandatory buffer zones exist between these sprayings in homes, schools, and other sensitive areas. Please give this bill a chance. Are you done? I am done. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Ray. Hey, members, any questions for our testify on what she presented to you? Thank you very much. Uh,